Welcome back to the channel everybody and um, you don't find me here on Anglesey anymore tonight anyway you find me down in South Wales that's right I'm chasing the dreams and I'm looking for that blonde ray that blonde ray that I've been looking for well I've been dreaming about for years shall I say so down South Wales it's uh, Friday night um, and it's coming up to seven o'clock at night and it's coming up to high water so high water is seven o'clock friday night and we're in south wales drove down last night after work um well left left anglesey seven ish something like that drove down but i was absolutely knackered been a long week in work done a lot of work long week in work um and drove down couldn't drive all the way the weather was horrendous and i was absolutely tired so we pulled over and got some sleep in the new kitted out van on the side of the road just before Merthyr Tidville. Now, um, I'm on the Knapp Beach, Colt Knapp Beach here down in South Wales. And I've dreamt about fishing this place for years. I'm not going to lie, I've dreamt about it. Um, and I just haven't pushed myself to coming down here. I get quite anxious about going to new places and doing new things, but this year I'm determined to catch a blonde ray and hopefully it's going to happen. Like I say, it's Friday night and the plan is to fish until Monday and then travel home as got back to work on Tuesday. Now, I'm not going to fish just this beach. I am going to bounce about. Um, we got down here into um, Barry Island um, this morning at some point, had some breakfast and we've spent the day um, having a look at a couple of different marks over low water just so I sort of know where we we're going um, because uh, as I say, I've never been down here before. I've never even been down here on holiday, for a ride, for a break, nothing. I've just never been down here. It's uh, like a five hour drive from Anglesey. It is an old, a good old slog. And uh, like I say, the weather last night was horrendous and it wasn't a pleasant drive. Now I say we because I've got the big boss with me. Sat over there, hiding under the shelter, is the wife, Jessica. So uh, yeah. Now then, a few of you that have followed the channel for a while will be thinking, oh, here he goes, he's going to get his uh, ass kicked again. Because every time I go fishing with a wife, she catches more than me. So uh, a good friend of mine, I know he'll be watching, said to me, it'll be hilarious if she beats you. She catches a blonde ray and you catch sod all. So, mate, if she catches a blonde ray, I won't have to deal with her for a few months because she'll have a long walk home. It's as simple as that. Um, all jokes aside, if we can catch one between us over the next couple of days, I'll be absolutely made up. I prefer it to be me, honestly. <laughs> no, honestly now, it'd be great if one of us catch one. There's two ray species that I haven't really caught and I would love to catch. One's the blonde ray, obviously, and the spotted. So I chose to fish the Nap Beach here tonight because I do know that it chucks up spotted rays. It's also very safe and it's our first night down here so it's just getting a feel for it. Um, I keep looking at my rods, my rods are out by the way so yeah I've cast it out, Jess's rods are out as well. She was the first one to cast out so you know it gives her a little bit of advantage to what it gives me. So the rods are out, we're fishing, um, baits throughout the next four days are going to be simple fish baits squid anchovies mackerel bluey um i have got some hermit crab with me i don't leave home without it um, and yeah it's just going to be big fish baits who knows we might even get a sneaky early codling but uh it's not the target rigs i'll talk through the rigs a little bit um, over the next couple of days and how i'm having a go i've obviously watched a few people on youtube um i have been quite lucky to have one or two people message with some info. Uh, I haven't listened. <laughs> I'm only joking. I sort of listened. <laughs> um, yeah, like I say, we're on the Nath Beach down in, uh, in Anglesey, down in Barry, in South Wales. And it's been raining all day. It's glorious now, but it's been raining all day. Um, anyway, I think I've gone on enough, guys. It will be a bit of a long video this, so make yourself a cup of tea, keep tuned, get some biscuits, and let's see what happens over the next four days, eh? So, that's the first half season bike. 
I've got something on it doesn't feel bad too. But it's It's a South William bullhead. <laughs> Only a small one. But it takes me out of that plan. Takes me out of the blank. My first fish of the trip. Come and have a quick camera in. It's hooked on the top circle hook. We'll be getting a few very fast bites which look like small eel bites to be fair um, or crabs, that's very well hooked that anyway, got the hook out of it very well hooked taking on sand eel and bluey tiny little hush proper tiny little hush first fish here at South Wales yeah, I'm quite happy with that beats a blank we're going to have another hour and then we're going to head to the van happy days just a quick update guys, um, back in the van, just been to pick up a Chinese, eh? got a bit of hot food when you're doing this sort of thing, can't really be bothered cooking tonight, we have got a few bits with us, but um, we're having a Chinese, it's a little bit after 10pm now, so we're going to have Chinese, um, and then get some kip, and get back out there tomorrow, uh, results were, Jess had a white in, I had a small hearse, and a doggy, and a few missed bites, so no rays, no blonde rays at the moment anyway, so as I say, we're going to have our Chinese and then uh, I'll bring you back when we're back out there fishing. Right in guys, um, thought I'd just show you a little bit of the area that I, we're fishing here today. Um, I could be wrong, some of you watching the video might be familiar with the area and go, yeah boy, you're not going to cast nothing there. Um, but like I say, first time down here, so it's a bit of a bit of an experiment really um, and like I say I like the look of this mark over low water so we're on Nails Point there's the watch house obviously right behind us we're, um, we're an hour off low and now it's ripping through here and that's why I thought it'd be worth a shot maybe it's the cod angler in me that's making me come here more than the ray angler because I you know you've got to have tide when you're fishing for cod so maybe it's that what's pushed me onto this mark more than targeting a ray but uh few famous or well-known marks from here so we uh, got the white light which is just there um, I think I've got that right and then just behind it but to the right of it there you got I think they call the green light then you got Silly Island over there I know that's a very famous mark they get a lot of fish off that and obviously you got Niles Point where we are we're underneath the watch house um, We've got Barry Beach, which is just behind this point there. Focus has gone a little bit. There we are. We've got Barry Beach, which is just behind there. And then we've got Friars Point, which is over there. Now, you can't see in the video, but there's actually a few lads on Friars Point with no water in front of them. And they're actually just sitting there waiting for that flooding tide. But we're in an hour off low yet. So, yeah, that wasn't for me, just sitting looking at the sand. Um, there's a few lads fishing the white light. They're halfway down, I'm not sure if you can see them, they're about here somewhere. There's a few lads on there fishing, and we're here. So I've had one bite so far, but nothing exciting. Um, we're going to fish here for as long as we can of the flood. I think the tide will push us off before we get pushed off, if that makes sense, the, the pull of the tide, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then we'll either drop back onto that corner there, and fish a little bit into Barry, into Barry Beach or we'll up sticks and move somewhere else um, quick look at the sort of setter so I've got one here ready to go for my next cast 100 pound body, 100 pound snood straight down this one's a bit of a short one over about 4 foot um, to a triple sand deal just like that nice and simple really and like I say, fish baits, I do have some black lug with me, frozen. 
which I'll have a chuck with that in a minute. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens, guys. Uh, I've said that a lot in this video. <laughs> but when you're fishing new places like this, um, especially me anyway, I get quite anxious and I always think, oh, that pot there looks a bit better than this spot there and that one over there looks a little bit better. But that's where local knowledge comes in. Um, and yeah, I suppose that's where local knowledge comes in. Maybe this spot will fish right on the bottom of the tide as the tide eases off or I don't know really. Like I say, trial and error and chasing them dreams. And um, the boss doesn't look so happy today. Maybe I haven't bought her enough takeaways and stuff, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she don't look happy, guys. She don't look happy. As long as she doesn't catch more than me, we're all right. But I didn't say that, don't tell her. Anyway, let's watch them rods. It, but it's well welcome. <laughs> I tell you what, never leave home without hermit crab. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Hermit crab and squid. A lot of, a lot of, yeah, it's alright, it's in a pool. I put the rod down. A lot of the boys at home say to me, Tommy, why do you believe in hermit crab so much? There's the answer. shy of 10 pound and a South Australian smooth arm. Um, absolute belter. I'm happy with that. I'm going to get it back. What a fish. I'll put it back here now. Get in there. <laughs> happy days.
Is it the target that I've been looking for? Just went over, boom, boom, boom. Oh, look at the size of it! It's one of my targets! Get in there! We'll have a bit of that, guys. Let me get it in, huh? And I'll bring you back for a proper look. There it is, guys! Target achieved. I'm 99% sure it's a blonde. Um, I'll double check properly in a minute, but all the spots run to the tip of the fins and they don't stop so that makes it 99% sure it's a plum it was lightly hooked, all the hooks are out lovely so uh, there's no hooks in there she's fighting fit, had a couple of minutes in the pool there it's just under £7 um, I'm very happy with that very very happy with that South Wales, thank you very much I'm going to put it back and maybe get a bigger one in eh? little update guys so uh, she's had a move now we're still on Nell's point but we've moved a little bit more left um, reason behind it really is Jess's fault <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen what she's done then guys you'd be very disappointed in a woman uh, uh, she's flicked me the V she did <laughs> yeah basically we've had a little move um, because where we were fishing the water was going round us a little bit and I don't know the area quite well enough to stay exactly where I was. I'd go back there over high, but there's uh, four lads just come down and they're setting up on the high water mark to where we were fishing over the low. Jess has got a bite, Jess has got a bite. Go on, Jess. Right, I'm going to, two seconds. Go on, Jess. So Jess has just had a cracking bite. The rod is over and she's in. Don't pump it out, just reel, darling, just reel. That's the one. Work your way towards the water edge a little bit slowly. Nice and steady, you don't fall. So guys, we've had a move. Jess's first cast, she's had a bite. I'm not sure if she's lost it, to be honest. Um, and we're now facing what they call the white light. Don't go, no, she's not lost it. There you are, go on, keep your rod up high. Okay, it's all right, go on. I'm gonna help her, guys. Go on, go on, go on. That reel's got loads of power, power, pump it, go on. Right, I'm going to help her guys, I'm going to help her. Right, we took us into a snag. Well, took Jess into a snag. Um, helped to get out of the snag, but unfortunately, the fish has come off. <sighs> Never mind, at least there's not a fish out there with, uh, with the uh, rig stuck in it. Unfortunately, it's come off. She looks really disappointed. Just a quick update guys, um, we've now moved to a very busy Friars Point. Now it is somewhere that I'd planned to fish on this trip and um, I knew it'd be busy because the reports have been quite good from Friars Point here uh, with lots of people getting fished. There's anglers all the way around the point. I'm on the right hand side and I'm not too far from the end to be fair. Um, so yeah, it's... Uh, Fry's Point for high water, which is like two hours away from now. It's now quarter to six and high water, I think it's about 25 past seven. So there's a lot of people, uh, there's nobody to my right. There's quite a few nice ledges you could fish off all along the right here. Um, yeah, it's quite nice, it's quite nice. If I've got anything of not negativity but my experience so far of fishing around the Barry area it would be parking um, not just because I got a big van but uh, it, there's no parking to get to places you've got to park it's, it's quite weird because you've got to have a permit or it's two hours maximum parking there's plenty of parking for Friars Point um, which is six pound a day and there's plenty of parking for the Nap Beach, which is free, and that's why I reckon it's quite busy. 
Um, but when you want to sort of go to Nell's Point, White Light, um, all that sort of area, to my knowledge, there's no parking for more than two hours. There is pa There is, hey. Eh? Yeah, not that I've found anyway, Jess is just correcting me there. <laughs> um, look at the smile, she's happy she's correcting me. <laughs> um, yeah, not that I've found anyway. There is parking where you can pay and park, but the gate shuts at half past eight, so that's a nightmare. Um, I'm not sure what the wind will be like in this part of it, and as I have said, this will be a bit of a long video, guys, because it's over four or five days. Um, but I'm going to keep it as one video. I don't like splitting a trip into two look at that for gorgeous so absolutely gorgeous night um what i've done and for, through recommendation of fishing fryers point i've picked somewhere where i've got a bit of a slope running down to the water where it makes it um easier to land fish it's quite a safe venue lots of people walking around here um that's barry over there but uh barry island not barry as a human being <laughs> but uh yeah it's, it's, it's quite a nice venue, lots and lots of people, lots of dogs, um, lots of people walking around. It's quite nice. Um, you're fishing very high up, so if you're afraid of heights, I wouldn't say this is one for you. Um, but I believe distance isn't a big, a big must here. Anyway, a um, bit of an update. Hopefully next time I bring you back, we'll have some fish. Good morning, everybody. Um, if I look a bit tired, it's because it's quarter to five on Sunday morning here um, I'm on cold nap beach now um, I had to come back and have another go it's uh, surprising how busy it is for the time in the morning there must be about 35 40 anglers along this stretch of beach um, just throbs everywhere one thing <laughs> a note here now is when you're looking on social media and you're seeing all these reports and how many fish are getting caught um, you don't actually see how many people are fishing for them reports if that makes sense um, obviously you've got good reports the odd person puts the blank or the bad report up but you don't actually see the volume of anglers for the amount of fish um, now we fished all day yesterday I had one hound I had one blonde and um, I had a couple of bites, a couple of doggies, dropped a few fish, but nothing in volume to what you think. Now there is some people down here that catch lots of fish with a local, local knowledge and know exactly where to go, what part of the tide, but there is a lot of people down here that are catching absolutely nothing um, or getting one fish. Anyway, as I say, I'm on Cold Nap Beach. Um, I've got people to my left, people to my right, I've got one rod out, so Jess has decided to stay in the van and have a lie in, I don't blame her really, um, we come off off uh, Friday's Point last night a little bit earlier than we should have, but it, we were a bit cold, so yeah, we went and got a, a Chinese once again, chilled out and got some sleep, so it's just before 5am, I'm back on Cold Nap Beach, so Let's see if I can pick anything up on here this morning. Well guys, it's coming up to eight o'clock and uh, that's about as good as it's got. <laughs> that's about as good as it's got. Starting to feel a little bit fished out now. Um, yeah, put a lot of hours in and pestered by a few of the dogfish. Obviously I'm over the moon of had a blonde. Um, but yeah, a few lads starting to pack up and there's a few lads turning up. So there's always constant turnaround of anglers, um, especially on the Napa Beach anyway. Um, plenty of anglers all over the place, but not much fish to be showing. You're getting the odd person that are obviously getting fish in front of them and you're seeing them posts on social media, etc. Anyway, I'm going to put this little doggy back and... Uh, Last casts out. Go and get Jess up, go and get some fresh bait, some breakfast, and make a plan for today. Please research where you're going to fish, as some venues are extremely dangerous. This should be fished with a knowledgeable angler of the area 
or you should do a lot of research before fishing this area. If you're not comfortable, do get a guide but to take you for the day. There is guides within most areas. Race begins. Take it onto the sand. But as I'm here with Jess, playing it safe, we're both in wellies. Well guys, we're actually on the sand. Um, on the famous sand spit. Absolutely crazy. Nothing I've ever witnessed in all my fishing experience. Lads wading and standing in just water, waiting for sand to dry out under their feet so they can start fishing. There's some fish coming out, but uh, we yet to get one, yet to get a bite. But uh, I'm way out of my comfort zone, I've got to be honest. If Jess gets one, she'll be famous because she's the only woman on the sandbar. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be absolutely made up if she gets one to be honest it finished the trip anyway let's see what happens guys Thank you very much for that. Six hour drive worth it now. <laughs> there we go. Guys, the trip worthwhile. I was getting a bit downhearted there, but um, happy days. And thank you to the gentleman to my right for helping me land it. Happy days, we'll get it back. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there. Yeah! Well, guys, how amazing was that? Um, it's a bit of a race um, getting off here now because the tide, I just want to show you this for the safety aspect, floods in really fast and comes around you. Um, and literally, me and Jess are not the last, there's a couple coming behind us, but everybody is like off at the same time. No messing about. Anyway, we're going to get back to the van. I'm probably going to get some tea and then uh, hit the mark for tonight. So keep watching, keep watching, guys. Well, we're on the last night and the last spot on the night is the very end, right-hand corner of Friars Point. Couldn't get on here the last couple of days. It's a mark that I've really wanted to get on and let's hope we can... Uh, make it stand out for its name hey it's uh, very famous and i've read about it loads over the years loads and loads there's a few lads on there's a few on the back end here we're on the right hand corner um i'm not sure if it's anybody with a totter but uh, yeah it's um about two hours off the top of high now so we'll fish it all the way to the top and then fish it a little bit down and hopefully we can get something exciting. When we was here last night, there was two lads on the right to me here. I was quite a bit further right, about halfway along, and they had a small taupe pup. So that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Small taupe pup. Um, yeah, it's it's been a fantastic few days. Um, I've really, really made up with today's result. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I'll just let you take the scenery in for a quick moment. So, a bit there of the scenery, and um, yeah, like I say, it's been absolutely fantastic, guys. So, on Friars Point, I did try and put a bit in earlier on in the video, I think. Apologies, it's been a bit of a long video, guys. Um, you're fishing very high up here, very, very high. Um, but then, obviously, if you get fish, you can make your way slowly down here. And this is where studded boots comes in, um, which is great. But yeah, and you know, had a fantastic few days, met some fantastic people. Um, as I can see, my biggest downside towards uh, fishing around here has been parking, has been a nightmare. Um, 
earlier on in the video you've seen the fella next to me help me land my fish so I'd like to say a massive thank you and um, I later date come to get his name which is Richard so thanks very much for that mate and um, thanks for uh, coming in the video obviously I asked if it was alright with you and you were happy with that and it was good to meet yourself and uh, your mate Ian that was fishing with you so no thank you very much guys it's been a pleasure meeting you and hopefully I'll meet you again in the future and if you're ever down North Wales on Anglesey drop us a message and hopefully I can uh, return the favour with some information um, anyway guys I'll turn the camera off I will not bring the camera back on now unless there's a fish involved so if you see me again we've got some fish or something really exciting has happened I dropped her some smaller baits guys because it'd be nice to try and get her spotted three before we head home anyway smaller baits I just produce some white in we've had a few of these throughout the weekend um, and they've been either producing white in or producing dogs on the smaller baits. I think that's a nice conger bait, so uh, we'll uh, dispatch it properly and turn it into conger bait for the next chuck here. Well, as I say, I won't bring you back unless there's another fish on screen. So keep tuned, keep watching. There we are, guys. So we uh, finally get a bite, other than a little white in, and it's lightly hooked. A nice hush on a little in, but a good patterned hush, well hooked. It's the hook out, so uh, we're going to quick look at it for you. Turn my light off. Got a little in, got a tiny, beautiful, oh, well patterned Friars Point hush. Hey, happy days. Take that, better than a blanket. nice blonde happy happy days it's not a very big one don't go rig doing the trick lovely hook what a beauty <laughs> well guys it's time to bring this video to an end so thank you if you watched from the start till the end um i thought that i would do the ending in this breathtaking 
view of the valleys um, on the way home. So we're on the way home, we're just coming up over the top of the Brecon Beacons now and it's absolutely gorgeous. If you've never been this way, it's definitely worth a visit. Um, yeah, it's absolutely glorious. Anyway guys, thank you for tuning in on this one. It's been good to have you on board. Um, it's I've managed to get that blonde that I've been targeting and uh, I've met some fantastic people on this journey. Um, another road trip ticked off. Winter's coming, so I'll uh, we'll probably be putting a lot of time in on the cod now over the next coming months. And uh, yeah, it'd be good to if you tune in to keep on watching. Thanks for my wife for being part of this video. Unfortunately, she lost a few nice fish, but um, not through to her own faults. Until next time, guys, keep safe, keep fishing, keep chasing them dreams.